The next case is a case of a 42-year-old male who came in with a chief complaint of knee pain and swelling of the left knee. He states about five years ago while skiing, he had a bad fall. At that time, it was very painful and he needed emergency personnel to bring him down the slopes using the stretcher. He had an MRI initially that showed complete tear of his ACL or anterior cruciate ligament. That was followed by ACL reconstruction. Patient required about six months of physical therapy and rehab and afterwards he did well and he was able to ski again for the past several years till his pain and swelling started. He went back to his surgeon to diagnose severe arthritis in the knee, recommending a total knee replacement. But patient feels he's too young to have the total knee replacement and he's looking into orthopedic regenerative medicine as an alternative to knee replacement. He's otherwise healthy and does not take any medications. This is a common scenario. Development of severe osteoarthritis, also known as tricompartment arthritis, subsequent to ACL reconstruction, is something that is commonly seen at the medical center. There are four ligaments holding the knee in place. One at each side, these are known as collateral ligaments, and two crossing over in the middle, these are known as cruciate ligaments. The cruciate ligaments stop the bone sliding forward and backwards. Typically the anterior cruciate ligament, also known as ACL, gets injured through twisting the knee by a forceful motion. Pain and swelling usually are the cardinal manifestation of the tear. After the tear of this ligament, the knee becomes unstable. The ACL reconstruction may help initially with stabilizing the knee but eventually the knee would develop major osteoarthritis.